Leone is part of. Is that right, Robin? Am I, yep. am I on uh, October the 9th, Friday, uh, Tony Leone is going to be uh, doing a, a kickboxing fight in Bradenton, Florida. So they were going to come in today to promote it. But uh, Tony's uh, family is ill, so he's staying home with his wife and children. But they will be coming in on Monday, this right. Monday the 5th at 1030. That's more, it's more important to take care of the family, right? Yes, for sure. So, so I have something that I thought would be fun to share with everybody. Um, gosh, I don't know how long ago it's been. A few months ago, we drove down to uh, the Disney area, and we noticed that the area known as the Disney down, downtown Disney was, I mean, c- like completely torn up. Oh, yeah. I mean, they were doing <laughs> construction, and, and in Disney style, we, we said, gosh, they're tearing everything up so they can rebuild. You know how they are. They, they don't waste any time. No, they're quick. <clears throat> and so it's now officially Disney Springs. Now, we knew it was going to be called Disney Springs, right? Yes. Yep. That was it. But let me tell you about this. And, and I, tomorrow is October 1st. Yes, it so is. So what is, it, what is on your mind, okay? Christmas is on your mind, you right? This is p- probably true, right? Because October first is tomorrow, so oh, yeah. automatically you start thinking, "Oh gosh, I got to start thinking about Christmas." I know, I have been already. And, and it's not just the gift giving and all that, but sometimes you like to hear about things you can go to to kind of immerse yourself into the Christmas feeling, the Christmas spirit. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm going to tell you about something right now that will do that for you in the new area called Disney Springs. Mm-hmm. Where do you hear about this? Okay, nice. First, let me tell you about Disney Springs. Uh, Disney, the downtown Disney area. Now, what what was, was there, Robin? That's where uh, Cirque du Soleil is. Yep, that's, Disney Quest. That's where Disney Quest, which I think that's closing yep. at the end of this year, I yep. think. Virgin Records was there, but then they turned it into a sports bar. Right, and and wasn't... Um, f- uh, uh, Pleasure Island Pleasure was Island there. Pleasure Island was there. That's, that was, yeah, that's gone. That's, that's no longer there. All defunct. But it, oh, 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 the uh, uh, McDonald's <clears throat> is there with all of the Legos. They still have the Lego bird and the Lego dragon. Well, they did. Now, you don't know what they have oh. now. Oh. Because now it's called... Now, I'm that? not saying it's gone. I just Gosh. don't know. But anyway, it was called Downtown Disney. Now it's called Disney Springs. So let me give you some information about Disney Springs. And... Is just, Cirque du Soleil still there? I think so, yeah. Okay. So, But, but let me tell you about this. And then I'm going to make sure that I don't run out of time before I get to the part about the Christmas stuff. Okay. I can't because wait. Because I know it's... September 30th, and I know Christmas seems like a long way away. It's not. But put it to you this way. Let me just change tracks here. There was a a thing for the the Harry Potter fans. Mm -hmm. Warner Brothers Studio announced something rather exciting. They were... um, Universal? Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers Studio announced something exciting that Uh that people were going to have a chance to have their Christmas dinner at the Great Hall at Hogwarts. Oh, my gosh. Hogwarts, whatever that's called, Uh okay? So it was very exciting for those people. I I mean, they announced this, what, yesterday? Wow. Okay? And it already sold out. I bet they did. (laughs) Because if you go to the site, the uh, WarnerBrothersStudioTour.com, I guess this is in California, but you could get there. It, it was it's sold out. It's for Thursday, December third. Um, due to an overwhelming response, this event is now sold out. Mm. Okay, so I, wow. I just I just wanted to point that out that these things go quick. Oh, they do. So I'm telling yes. you about these now because if you find out about these things at the Disney Springs area, mm-hmm. and you say, "Oh, that sounds good," and it's December first. You might be too late. Yeah, you got to plan now. You, yeah, you might need so. So I'm going to try to do the best I can to get you to understand this, and I'll I'll give you the website so you can find out what what I'm telling you. Okay, uh, Walt Disney World threw a renaming celebration yesterday at the brand new Indiana Jones themed Jock Lindsay's or oh, Jack, Jack. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I think it is Jock. Jock, Jock Lindsay. Jock Lindsay's Jock Hangar name. Bar. <laughs> Jock Lindsay's <laughs> Hangar Bar. Disney yeah. executives, uh, <laughs> cast members, and Disney Springs' newest tenants took part in this milestone occasion. They renamed the area. And it's not just a renaming. They've rebuilt the area. Yeah, they have. The transformation into the reimagined, redesigned, and totally kicked up entertainment district has been happening for two years. By the time it is fully complete next year, Disney Springs will double the number of shops and restaurants currently found at Downtown Disney. Wow. Now, if you say, well, this just sounds like a bunch of retail, Mm -hmm. you're kind of right. Yeah. It is a bunch of retail, but sometimes retail can be fun. 
Mm -hmm. And when restaurants are in the mix, well, that's always fun, too. Exactly. I'm just telling you what they've got and throwing a little bit of commentary on my own. Uh, So uh, Disney Springs will include outdoor neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. They've got the west side, the landing, and the marketplace, which they've always had the marketplace, right? Yes, they have. With everything from splurge-type restaurants to new lakefront shopping. Some of the new stores include, for those of you interested Mm -hmm. in this kind of stuff, Apex by Sunglass Hut. Okay. The Art of Shaving. That's a store. The Art of Shaving. Oh, now we got to check that out. That's an intriguing name. Chapel Hats. It's a hat store. Chapel Hats. Oh, okay. I like hats. Irwin Pearl. What do they make? Do you know? What do they sell? Maybe pearl necklaces? (laughs) Aaron? (laughs) Aaron McKenna's... (laughs) Aaron McKenna's Bakery... NYC, it's a New York City bakery. Uh-huh. Don't ask oh, me. Oh, Joe like that. I don't know anything. Well, I would like it too. <laughs> so would you. It's a bakery. What's not to like about a bakery? It could be an Ocala bakery. They put NYC on there just to make it look like it's... <laughs> Better than everybody else. They have uh, Havaianas, which I don't know what oh, that is. They have Sanuk, Sound Lion, and Vivoli Gelateria. Okay, is that a fancy name for Jello? I think it's ice cream. I think it's ice cream. Oh, okay. Uh, Okay. Generating the most buzz is the landing, which takes over the area formerly known as Pleasure Island. Oh, okay. They're calling that the landing. Uh Uh-huh. It offers dining. Uh, Unlike anywhere else in town, some of the restaurants are super high-end, while others are attraction-like. Oh, okay. So so here are some of them. And I, I promise you I will get to the Christmas part in a second. Okay. Uh, opening later this year is the restaurant known as STK. Uh, it's a modern steakhouse mixed with the ambiance of a steak of a lounge. Mm-hmm. It'll be one of the largest STK locations in the world, occupying 14,000 square feet in a two-story building. Wow. That's going to be fabulous. Another restaurant is um, opening today. It's called Morimoto Asia. Mm-hmm. Chef Masaharu Morimoto, perhaps best known from the popular TV show called Chef America, Iron Chef America. Oh, we talked to him, the Iron Chef. Did we? We had him on. Uh, the, he is unveiling his two-story restaurant today. Uh, this will be the Japanese Master Chef's first ever pan-Asian restaurant featuring flavors from across the continent. The restaurant will feature waterside seating. Oh. Terraces, a grand hall, and a cocktail lounge. Wow. How fabulous All is right. now that? Now, you laughed at the name Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. I know. I couldn't It is myself. now open if you want to see it. <laughs> oh, yes, This I has do. an aviation theme, Dan, if you're listening. <laughs> an aviation theme. Can you park your plane there? Jock Lindsay was uh, Indy's frequent pilot in the Indiana Jones films. Oh, Okay. So there's a film connection here. Oh, he's a funny guy. It's got that a wa- character it's a is funny. W- waterfront connection. The restaurant features food and drinks inspired by Jock's globe trotting mm-hmm. to all continents. Yeah, he's a funny character. The 150 seat lounge is located between Paradise 37 and Boathouse Outdoors. Jock's old steamboat now in dry dock is a fun place for watching the sunset. Oh, gosh. That sounds like a good one. It does. It does. Let's make a reservation. The next one is called the Edison. This is opening next year. It's not open yet. The Edison will be a dedicated uh, restaurant dedicated to a resurgence of old world style, sophistication, and romance Mm -hmm. themed to a 1920s period electric company. The ceilings are 35 feet high. The Edison will feature nightly entertainment like contortionists. Oh. Palm readers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. A 35-foot ho- tall ceiling. Gosh. The restaurant, I mean, co- yeah, the restaurant called The Boathouse, which opened uh, back in April. Mm-hmm. I promise I'll get to the Christmas stuff. But a- Amphicars, these are the waters that go in the... Oh, the, Joe saw the those. The cars that go in the water. Yeah, Joe and Patsy saw those. Uh, they're not cheap, though. No, he they're said they're expensive. They're not cheap. Yeah. Anyway, the new boat dock is open be, uh, between Jock Lindsay's and Paradise 37. Um, it's, it opened. It was renamed yesterday. Disney Springs also getting two parking garages. When we come back, I want to tell you about the Christmas stuff happening down there. Okay. We'll be right back. Nice. This is WOCA Ocala. 
weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Watch for strong rip currents over the next several days along the coast. Times of clouds and sun today with a high of 88 to 92, then mostly cloudy tonight, though 72 to 76. For tomorrow, intervals of clouds and sun with a shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon, high 86 to 90. For Friday, partly sunny with a shower or thunderstorm, likely high 84 to 88. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Central Florida Eye Institute is the area's leader in laser vision correction. From high-definition refraction surgery and LASIK vision correction to custom cataract, glaucoma, and diabetic treatment, you can count on Dr. Crowley and his effective, friendly staff to provide you with the quality care you deserve. Call 352-237-8400 for an appointment or more information. That number again is 352-237-8400. Looking forward to service your vision needs. You're listening to Florida State Football on WOCA, brought to you by the fine sponsorship of Ocala BMW Porsche, Tri-Eagle Sales and Distribution, and the Marion County Seminoles Club. We'd like to thank all our fine sponsors for all their contributions so that we can bring you Florida State Seminoles football. So once again, thanks to Ocala BMW Porsche, Tri-Eagle Sales, and the Marion County Seminole Club. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, the source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. All right, 18 minutes after 9 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Wednesday morning here at the studios of The Source, broadcasting live from the paddock. Well, 77 degrees, not bad. The uh, chance of weather, uh, chance of weather, the chance of rain has gone up a little bit. as uh, a 30% chance now. We'll see rain today. Uh, high temperatures around 90 degrees, so that's pretty much the same as it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to thank the folks over at Central Florida Eye Institute. They are sponsoring this portion of AML Cala Live. Dr. Thomas L. Crowley is a board-certified ophthalmologist over at the Central Florida Eye Institute, and they are not too far from where we broadcast, not too far from the Paddock Mall. They are on the Sears side of the mall, but they're not in the mall. Uh, in fact, they're not even a part of the same complex, which is using that as a point of reference. If you need your eye care taken care of by somebody who can do it all, the Central Florida Eye Institute is the place to go. Whether you simply need new, whether you simply need new eyeglasses or something as more uh, serious as glaucoma treatments, retinal surgery, uh, diabetic eye treatments, cosmetic procedures, etc. They do it all there. Uh, Corneal transplants, uh, cataract surgery, etc. They do LASIK surgery over there. Give them a call at 352-237-8400. 352-237-8400. Their website is centralfloridaeye.com and let me give you their address real quickly. It's 3133 Southwest 32nd Avenue. And again, it's not too far from the mall here. Just go, if you come to the mall, it's on the Sears side, but back there and then the, across the, the street in the parking lot there. Mm-hmm. All right, so we were talking about the downtown Disney area, which is no longer called downtown Disney. It's now called Disney Springs. As of yesterday, they officially christened it that with that name. Nice. Uh, it's not completely done, uh, but it sounds like it's going to be a lot of restaurants, upscale things, and it's kind of a fun place to go. 
and to hang out. Now, when we discovered Downtown Disney, uh, gosh, I don't know how long ago it was. It was a very long time ago. Mm -hmm. We discovered it, Robin, at the Christmas season. Remember this? Yes. And I know it's all it's all retail. I know it's all about business. It's all about making a dollar and spending a dollar. Mm -hmm. uh, but the truth is, it was magical. Don't ask Very. me why. Uh, there's something about what they do, the, the music that's playing in the streets, the decorations. And even when it wasn't the Christmas season, it was magical. But we happened yeah. to discover it during the Christmas season. And it was evening. Mm -hmm. So it was really magical. So they're, they are now sprucing it up. They're do, they've got something new happening. The first ever Christmas celebration at the newly named Disney Springs is just a couple of months away. Mm -hmm. it just Yeah, just a couple of months away. Tomorrow's October 1st. So let me tell you about this. Um, let's see. Uh, Downtown Disney has already started their holiday planning. The season, the transformation to Disney Springs is in full effect, and the holiday offerings will be updated with more reflect, to reflect the new name. So, so it's not completely, they don't have a complete announcement yet, but this is what I have. Holidays at Disney Springs is what they're calling this event. Holidays at Disney Springs. Uh, the Toy Soldiers Stilt Walkers will be there. You'll see the big, gigantic toy soldiers walking around. Nice. Uh, there will be snowflake performers. Don't know what that is. I gotta take my mother. They have yes, absolutely. She would love this. She loves the stilt walkers. Uh, well, she would just love the whole environment. There's a Kwanzaa celebration that is part mm -hmm. of this. There's a Hanukkah uh, medley of entertainment happening. Uh, there are enhanced holiday entertainment uh, specialties, different musicians and different uh, entertainers. Uh, there are some specialty foods that will be out. They're not giving much details, are they? Uh, and, of course, lots of decorations. Santa Claus will be there this year in a new location across from the Ghirardelli. Ghirardelli? Is it Ghirardelli? Ghirardelli the chocolate. Gir Ghirardelli ice cream and chocolate shop. All right. I'm there. I'm there. That's where Santa Claus more. will be. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll, I'll go for the chocolate. <laughs> they will be serving rich hot chocolate. <gasps> Uh, while you're waiting to meet Santa Claus, um, guests will be able to pick up a pager upon check-in to secure their place in line so you don't have to wait in line. Mm -hmm. So if you're there with the kids and there's a lot of other kids waiting to see Santa Claus, you simply get a pager and mm -hmm. you walk around. Oh. You just walk around. You look at the things you want to look at. You'll get a beep. Oh, look, mm -hmm. Santa, Santa can see you now. Gosh, I just isn't that cool? Well, it's cool, but I don't like that when other people are just going to stay in line and wait their turn, and then all of a sudden they're standing in line, and somebody with a pager comes and they cut in front of them. But doesn't everybody get a pager? Oh, is that what is is that how it works? Everybody gets a pager. Well, maybe you stand in line until you get a pager. <laughs> oh, and then once you get a pager, you're I don't know. Uh -huh. I understand what you're saying though. Yeah, yeah, because I just I don't know. So anyway, so you stand in line and then you get a pager. Oh, okay. I'm guessing. I don't know. Okay. Then you walk around, you see the things, you get a, whoop, you get a buzz. Mm -hmm. You go yeah. listen to like Zaxby's used to do, but they don't do it anymore. <laughs> no, I, I love Zaxby's. Uh, anyway, <laughs> some of the other th holiday backdrops um, are being promised from the different marketplace people. Um, oh, wow. The West Side. There's an area called the West Side. And they're making it to look like a pop-up greeting card. Oh, 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 I love making those. We got to go there. So there will be, oh, I see lots of pop-up greeting cards that you can stand in. Oh. And have your family photo taken so it looks like you're in a Christmas scene. How cool is that? How cool is that? That is a cool one. I'll bring the pictures of my kids and my you know, daughter-in-law and son-in-law and stick them in the scene and have them take a photo. For the so first time ever, are. they will have um, holiday trees are making their debut this season. The three new unique to Disney Springs holiday trees will make their debut this season. According to entertainment show director Tom Vazana, every corner of Disney Springs has new decorations that will fill your spirit and your camera and with holiday memories. Oh, we got to go. We got to go. Look for holiday touches to start appearing on the property sometime in mid-November. That's when they'll start doing this. In the meantime, uh, check out the uh, the new thing. So let me give you the website that I got that from so you can share this with somebody. Okay. Uh, the, the website is disneyparks.disney.go.com. 
It's part of the Disney Parks blog, by the way. Okay. So, or, or maybe mm-hmm. you can just Google it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Some, sometimes I'm I'm confused too about how these things work. But. Disney Springs, the Christmas spirit. I'll Google that. <laughs> Happens. Yeah. That's, that's, oh, I'm gonna go. That's probably that's the way to do it. All there is to it. I'm gonna go. <laughs> you make I up love your mind. Christmas. So yeah. you're, you're in the traveling mood now because you'll, you'll be traveling. I'm ready. Well, I, I always love Christmas, though. I mean, it was about a month ago I decided what I'm getting my kids for Christmas, and I'm trying to make it happen. So, you know, you got to plan these things in advance. There you go. Um, it costs money. Changing subjects real quickly. There is a ribbon cutting tomorrow. Uh, we want to let you know about mm-hmm. the ribbon cutting. Is it tomorrow? No, Friday. 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 Um, at 4 p.m., it's the Digital Savvy, which is a complete digital marketing agency. They are having their ribbon cutting to promote a campaign called Let's Put Ocala on the Map. Mm-hmm. That's their campaign. Let's Put Ocala on the Map. So go to digitalsavvy.com if you want to learn more about them. And if you want to stand with them as they uh, are welcomed into the community and, and uh, this this campaign, I guess. It's at 4 p.m. on Friday at the Ocala Marion County Chamber and Economic Partnership Building, mm-hmm. which is at 310 Southeast 3rd Street here in Ocala. And uh, again, if you have a business and you, you want to you know grow your business, then one good idea is to be part of something that networks and one of the best networking organizations has always been the chamber of commerce Mm -hmm. if you're new to the area we don't have a chamber of commerce per se anymore what we have is a is a combined efforts but by two groups the chamber of commerce teamed up with the economic development council thank you and now they call themselves the ocala marion county chamber and economic partnership Mm -hmm. you'll hear it referred to as cep for short And that's what it stands for, Chamber and Economic Partnership. So uh, become a part of this organization, and you will be able to uh, network with other business people and and grow your business. It's as simple as that. The number is 629-8051 for that, 629-8051. Okay? And then you can, you can have a ribbon cutting of your own. Exactly. All right. We have had musicians have ribbon cuttings. There was one fellow, he's yeah. a guitarist. He was at the Ocala Hilton, and they had a ribbon cutting for him. He was standing there with his guitar, and they cut the ribbon in front of him. Yeah. So yeah. very creative stuff. Uh, so tomorrow and uh, and Friday, Robin and I will not be here. We are <laughs> going to Chattanooga. We're very yep. excited about it, looking forward to it. And uh, it's something we were kind of honored to be asked to do yep uh i guess you could say that and, and we've got a little tiny place <laughs> 10 feet by 10 feet that's a, yeah. f- a french cafe in, in this big convention center up in chattanooga yes nice and uh so we'll be playing the music th- we're doing french music up there we're doing german music somewhere around here right yeah or was in orlando we're doing right. the german music well here we're doing it at palm garden we're doing an october fest but isn't there isn't there one in uh yes there's one orlando? in orlando yeah doing a couple in orlando yep. so doing some in there Anyway, so uh, Dan and uh, Joe Martin will be here tomorrow to do the show uh, with all mm-hmm. of you, and uh, we appreciate the fact that they're doing that. It enables us to go. And, of course, the dog is staying with, I don't want to say the name of the oh, place. Oh, it's a nice place. But it's a really nice place, and, and I, I'm so happy when I went there. Mm-hmm. I, it's, it, I never I never leave my dog anywhere, but I was sad. Mm-hmm. And so, therefore, I was sad to say, oh, I'll see you later. But she seemed, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. I got my cookies. Yeah, she's you know, my, got her blankets. My dog is 15 mm-hmm. years old. Well, she will be December 1st. 15 yeah. years old. She's mm-hmm. probably not long for this world anymore. But, uh, you know, uh, you know, you grow connected. You know, I got that dog when she was the size of my hand. Yeah. And uh, I found her. I found her. She was uh, there was a little girl outside of a of a uh, Walgreens on mm-hmm. Highway 200 down near top of the world, and she had in the box a few puppies. And she said, "Do you want a puppy?" And a month earlier, my dog had died. Yes. And so I said, "No, no, no more dogs. No more dogs." So the whole time I'm walking around Walgreens, I'm thinking, "Oh man, should mm-hmm. I get a dog? Should I not get a dog?" <laughs> So then I said, well, let me let God make the decision. Because somewhere I heard that God will choose the coin. If you flip a coin, he'll pick it for you. Yes. So I said, all right, I'll flip a coin. If it's heads, I'll take the dog. But I had no coins in my pocket. I dug and dug and there were none. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I guess God doesn't want me to have a dog. So I go to the pay for my stuff. The lady gives me my change. A penny. I am not making this up. Falls (laughs) to the floor. Starts spinning. 
lands on heads. I go outside. I say to the girl, I'll take a dog. Yes. And that's how I ended up with the dog I have 15 years ago. Yeah, dogs are family. They're not just dogs. We will take a little break. We'll be right back. Fox News Radio. I'm Liam Wu. Russia greenlighting troops to Syria to fight ISIS, though who they're actually bombing remains in question. The U.S. official has told Reuters news agency that the airstrikes have begun and are thought to be in the area of Homs. Homs is not a city where there are thought to be Islamic State uh, rebels. It's more associated with nationalists, what are called moderate rebels. They are some of them allied with al-Qaeda, but some of them allied with America. Dominic Waghorn with Fox Sister Network. Sky News. Joaquin grows into a hurricane as it nears the Bahamas. And an eventual turn towards the north is forecast over the next few days. And eventually, it could threaten the east coast of the U.S. Fox meteorologist Maria Molina. And a survey from payroll processor ADP finds that businesses added jobs at a solid pace in September. Fox News, we report. You decide. Meet Vince. Vince hurt himself mountain biking on Saturday. Because weekend warrior. <clears throat> because noob. Hey. Vince is supposed to host an important presentation, but he's not going anywhere in that cast. What should he do? Retort.